With these tape makers, you can make binding in three easy steps. There's the one inch tape maker and the two inch tape maker. You have two choices in cutting your binding. You may cut it bias cut along the bias of the fabric or straight cut. Bias binding goes around the corners nicely. We'll take one yard of fabric and this is the bias at a 45 degree angle. What we want to do is just fold this to form a 45 degree angle. This is approximately one yard of fabric and we'll fold it multiple times. Then we'll slice it to the appropriate width and that creates the bias binding. Obviously some links will be longer than others. The links in the middle will be longer than the links at the end. But this is a great way to cut uh, bias binding and then all you simply do is just join it with a sewing machine. We'll show you that next. The use of a cutting pad with a ruler makes it easier. In the one inch binder you cut the fabric one and three quarter strips. Chris is using the rotary cutting tool, again, on that Fisker you cutting pad. You can see pad. how wonderful this rotary tool is and how quickly it cuts through several layers, layers of fabric. So As you can see, all that's necessary is to move the measuring guide over one, and, one, and, one three and three quarter, cut another strip, and do that all along the length of your fabric. When we're done doing that, we'll show you how to join the bias binding together. <clears throat> We're also using the Omni Grid ruler. That's the ruler on top, which is six inches wide and 24 inches long. Great for uh, making accurate measurements. You can see right through it and measure along that edge of fabric. So you can see now this is on the bias. I have a 45 here on the fabric. We'll now take it to the sewing machine. We lay those panels so they're 90 degree apart from each other, as shown here. Bury the needle and place that needle right along that V. You'll have a smaller stitch length here and then just sew straight across all the way to the other V. And you are done. You do not want a lot of excess material here. It'll make it more difficult to feed through the binder if you have a binder attachment. There it is. Looks good. Once all of your strips are sewn together, then just simply cut a V out of here. That makes it easier to go through the tape maker. And then just push it through the one inch tape maker. Once it's out through the other end, just simply pull it out. Make sure that you pull it through evenly to get it started. Now we'll take an iron and we have it plugged in and have it on low heat. And we start pressing this assembly together as we pull it through the tape maker. If one side becomes uh, skewed, then Chris just simply slides the tape maker over to even it out. Is you'll see that if it gets skinny on one side, you need to bend this a little bit, pull it towards you, okay, until you see it straighten up, and then you can go straight again. Then if it goes the other way, you just bend it that way a little bit. It's not it doesn't make much difference, but it gives you more even on this side, okay. And then I just quickly iron it on this side. Now we've come to the part where we've joined okay. these tapes together. You want to be careful here that it feeds into the tape maker and sometimes pulling out this blue thing a, a little bit can help in feeding it inside the tape maker and then you can progress. Now once we get that through where we've joined those tapes together, you need to make sure that you press this down nice and securely. Uh, use that iron and make sure that it's nice and flat. It will feed a much better through the binder attachment if it's nice and flat. So there it is, right there. We'll turn it over and we'll go over this side as well with the iron, making sure this is flat. This aids when you feed it through the binder attachment on your sewing machine. Here's what it looks like close up off of that white material. Looks good. Your tape is now done. Now we're going to show you how it feeds through one of these binder attachments. It works great in this one inch binder attachment. This is the uh, non-swinging binder and we're going to sew all the way up to where these uh, tapes are joined. This can be the part that's a little bit difficult because you've got a lot of excess material where those two tapes are joined together. So what, what, what we recommend is that you actually help the machine feed this in and make sure that it's feeding in there nicely. So every time you need to look for those joins and then once it comes up to it we kind of pull on the opposite end making sure it's feeding through well. And that's it looks beautiful just like prefabricated binding a little bit more difficult to make but looks great in this video we showed the one inch tape maker the two inch tape maker is available as well the two inch tape maker makes excellent facing for enclosures